I'm Zoe Cow jones and I'm a women's fitness specialist and I'm also a mum of two boys who are six and nine and I'm in this current lockdown homeschooling work juggle and it's really quite hard, uh, stressful and I'm far from nailing it and probably just about scraping through on what would be acceptable. Uh, it has made me think a bit about what tips I could potentially give to you to, about your own um, physical and mental health at this time. The first thing that I would suggest is to try and lower your expectations around um, exercise and movement. Many of us start January with this um, you know, idea of kickstarting a new fitness regime or losing weight after all the Christmas indulgences. Now is probably not the time to go you know, full throttle into something um, quite full on. Mostly because mentally we, you don't want to feel like you can't manage something or you're, you're failing at something else because I don't know if you feel the same at the moment I feel like I'm not doing many things particularly well because I'm juggling so much. So try and potentially set yourself some um, really easy goals or objectives for your day, whether that is something like every hour you're going to do 10 squats or you're going to go up and down the stairs or every day you're going to get out for a 10 minute walk. It doesn't really matter what it is, as long as it is something that is easy and very achievable for you, um, almost so easy that it seems a bit ridiculous, so that you can tick that off and mentally, yes, yes, I've done that. And you can always build and add to it, but just make sure you start off with it, something super easy, so it becomes a success rather than just something else that you've not quite managed to do. The second thing that I'd like you to think about is what is the purpose of your movement or your exercise? I mean, being January and with that whole fitness drive thing that I just talked about, quite a lot of us will think, you know, challenge exercise with, you know, getting the greatest calorie burn or really pushing towards our own kind of performance targets. But th maybe it's time to have a little think about, is that the right thing that your body would need at the moment? So is it really after a full on intense 40 minutes um, hardcore workout? Or does it, do you actually really need just to take some time out, go for a nice walk or um, do some yoga or really calm your sort of stress levels down? Just give yourself that flexibility and that freedom to change up what you want to do. My third tip would be to try and ensure that you get a bit of time without your family on a daily basis. I don't know about you, but I find it a bit claustrophobic being around mine 24 seven. It's full on and I've got constant mum, 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 mum and it's just exhausting and I feel like my head's like constantly spinning. So I do try and make sure I get a little bit of time on my own. And if you can combine with it, that with your movement, then great. It will do wonders for your physical and mental health.